What's up, J. Roost Theory? And I thought I'd just tell the, uh, this is a, mainly a boxing channel. I cover other topics too. But I thought I'd talk about uh, what it feels like to be punched, especially as, as a heavyweight. I used to fight at heavyweight, never was pro or anything, but um, a lot of people always wonder, how can they do that for a living? And, you know, if it's in your, if it's in your DNA to be a fighter, you'd rather do that than a nine to five any day. I mean, I mean, look at how much money Floyd Mayweather gets for 45 minutes of work. And if you knock him out, you get it even quicker. So, I mean, I'd rather be a boxer any, any day. But um, the thing is about taking a punch, I know, you know, I was talking, going back and forth with this guy on YouTube. He was breaking it down scientifically about the neurons and potassium is released with this when you get hit and all that. I'm like, yeah, that's great and all, but... It's like Tommy Brooks said, taking a punch is more mental than anything. I mean, if you got your mind made up, he said, you can hit a guy with a bag of bricks and he's not going anywhere. So it's more mental. It has to deal with your will more than anything. And as many times as I sparred, I got hit with a lot of shots. You know, my, my trainer wasn't big on defense. I had to start jabbing. Then I kept people off me with a jab. My, my jab was like an overhand right. It would make people quit throwing punches. But... uh. I don't, you don't really feel the punch in the heat of the moment, even at heavyweight. You don't really feel it. You know, you might feel a little soreness in your neck or something the next day, but you don't really feel it in the heat of the battle. You know, your adrenaline's pumping. You're thinking about what you're trying to work on and, uh, you know, keep my right up. Should I hook? Should I jab? You're moving around. So you don't really feel at least I didn't. I didn't. I didn't feel it in the heat of battle. You know, some shots. You know, I remember I got hit on the top of my head once when I was ducking, and I, I got a like bright light like that. So I felt that one. <laughs> that was no fun. Trust me. But for the most part, you really don't feel the punches. I mean, you may. You know, if you take a lot of body shots, you'll feel that the next day. But um, hey, that's my experience. Um. I was trained by uh, Billy Moore, son of the great Archie Moore. Um, if you don't know who Archie Moore is, then I got a question. Are you really a fight a fight follower? <laughs> but uh, I was trained by Billy Moore in Southeast San Diego. And, uh, you know, he said I could punch. And I, I kind of wonder where I could have gone because uh, I couldn't find sparring. It was hard to find uh somebody to spar with you know I'm 6'3 240 ish I weigh between 240 ish I stay between 240 and 250 I never let myself get higher than the 250 range and never get under 240 I mean I still train every day and um you know you know maybe I'll make a comeback since everybody else is doing it Mike Tyson Evander Holyfield I think Antonio Tarver might come back maybe B Hop why not me see where I can go with it and uh and I definitely know more now than I knew back then anyway this is the J Roos theory beat down the like button comment share subscribe and be fearless as always